All right, future nurse, let's wrap up part four of this clinical case study on hypothyroidism versus hyperthyroidism. Now, if you missed part one through part three, go check them out on my page. So the new graduate nurse is providing education to the patient regarding a new prescription of levothyroxine for hypothyroidism. Which of the following statements would require the nurse to intervene? All right, so we are looking for an incorrect statement made by the new graduate nurse that would cause the experienced nurse to intervene and re-educate. Okay, so let's look at option A. You should take this medication on an empty stomach. Absolutely, this medication should always be taken on an empty stomach to promote effective absorption. Option B, this is a lifelong medication and you should never abruptly stop it. This is also correct. There is no cure to hypothyroidism. This patient will need to be on medication for the rest of their life. And we never want to abruptly stop it. Your provider might titrate the dose based on the response of your T3 and T4, but we never abruptly just stop the medication. Option C, you can take this medication in combination with omeprazole in the morning. Now, you need to take this medication on an empty stomach. However, it should always be alone. And also, omeprazole is a potassium pump inhibitor. This decreases the amount of acid production in the stomach, which can inhibit breakdown and absorption of the medication. So option C is our answer. We need to re-educate that new graduate nurse that levothyroxine is taken on an empty stomach in the morning by itself, one hour before everything else. <laughs> and let's just learn from option D. If you experience symptoms of anxiety, tachycardia, or diaphoresis, you should alert your HCP as soon as possible. And this is absolutely correct. These are signs of toxicity or overcorrection. Remember, hypo versus hyperthyroidism is always a balance of the hormones. So if I have hypothyroidism, which is low T3 and T4, and I over supplement it, causing a high T3 and T4, I'm going to kick that patient into hyperthyroidism. So any signs and symptoms of hyperthyroidism, I should alert my healthcare provider. We might need to titrate down the dose. All right, I hope you learned something from this today. Follow for more.